What's up guys and welcome back to Ty's Rides. So real quick, I wanna give you guys a rundown of my pain cave, AKA bike room, AKA trainer Zwift setup room. It's snowing outside. We're currently in a blizzard here in Kansas City. So I figured today would be the perfect day. Uh, first and foremost here, we've got the trainer set up. These mats, my buddy Jason O'Neill recommended these. These we picked up on Amazon, I think like 50 bucks total for two mats. Um, and they, they work really nice. Uh, the trainer, so this is the Wahoo Kicker. Uh, pretty straightforward. It's got a 10 speed road cassette on it. This uh, kicker is a smart trainer. So basically you just plug it in and it can interact with all of your uh, Bluetooth devices. As far as ventilation goes, I do not have a box fan on the floor. I've just got the ceiling fan. I can also crack a window, but the ceiling fan works pretty good. It's right over my head. Uh, eventually I may get a box fan also because it gets pretty, uh, pretty gross in here with the sweat. So this is my setup right here. This is an old flat screen TV I had. This is my MacBook. Obviously the bonus of a smart trainer is being able to use Zwift to ride because it's interactive. Basically I just connect this uh, TV uh, to the computer with a dongle. This is called a dongle. Let's plug this back in. So once you've downloaded Zwift and you've made your avatar and all that stuff, you basically just quick uh, click on the Zwift app and it'll take a second to load here. And then you just hit let's go. Log in, okay. So the next thing you wanna do, you have to download the Zwift companion app on your phone. Now, we gotta find our, sens our sensors. I use the Garmin heart rate monitor, okay? And I use the Garmin cadence sensor with my smart trainer. The most important thing is you wanna make sure you've got your power device hooked up and then your controllable. So controllable, if this is not linked, you're not gonna be able to interact with uh, Zwift, okay? So let's crank this here, let's see if we can wake this up. <clears throat> cadence is connected. All right, so okay, now I'm not getting my power source or my controllable. Let's go down, let's unplug the trainer, and then let's plug it back in. Boom, there we go. We're gonna go in and we're gonna hit okay. It's gonna bring us to a screen. This is where you can select what you wanna do. You can ride in Watopia, you can ride in London, you can ride in Yorkshire. You can do training, you can pick routes. There's so many different interactive things that make riding fun and riding on the trainer sucks and uh, this makes it not suck so much. So I'm gonna go in and let's go to London. We'll go routes and now we will uh, click the greatest London loop and we'll go okay and now we're gonna ride it. On the top left you can see your watts you can see your uh, RPMs if you have a cadence sensor hooked up and you can see your heart rate. Then on the top, you can see your mile per hour, your miles, your feet, all that stuff. And then on the side, you can see the other people that are Zwifting in your area. Another cool thing is the Zwift companion app. Uh, you can wave to people, you can do U-turns, you can message uh, people who are near you. So now, once I'm finished with my ride, I've had my, a great ride, I go to menu, I go to in ride. Now, when I hit save and exit, if your Strava is linked uh, to everything uh, through Zwift, it should automatically upload to Strava. Uh, when you're going to practice this, you have to do at least two miles for it to upload to Strava or it won't upload. And I was having a really tough time with this because I'm like, why is my ride not uploading to Strava? I'm doing everything right. Well, it wasn't long enough. It's gotta be at least two miles to upload to Strava. It's really convenient to have this set up because on days like this, when it's snowing outside or on days it's icy or days you just don't have a lot of time to ride, this is a great tool for getting those miles in and uh, keeping your fitness over the winter. So that's the setup guys. Uh, sorry if I missed anything. If you guys have any questions, let me know. As always, hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. You guys have a good one.